Hi, welcome to Oakman Crafts and this week we're gonna make this 3D printed camera slider and it only cost about $25 to make. Let's start with a list of parts you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 24TB slot aluminium rail, some 3D printed feet, slider gantry plate, end stops, thumb knobs, washers, V-slot wheels, M5 nuts, eccentric nuts, M5 bolts, rolling t sort nuts, 3 foot camera screw, and some M2 nuts. We're gonna start with assembling the gantry plate. First, take your M5 bolt, insert the wheel into it, followed by the washer, and insert this into the smaller hole onto the gantry plate. Secure this with the M5 nut, and repeat the process onto the other smaller hole. Next, insert the centric nut into the larger hole and then take the wheel and the M5 bolt and insert it through and secure it with the M5 nut. Repeat the process onto the last large hole. Finish the gantry plate by inserting the 3 foot camera screw to the center of the gantry plate. Next, add the gantry plate to the aluminum rail. Make sure that the gantry moves smoothly along the rail. If it's too loose or too tight, adjust the eccentric nut until it's smooth. Add the end stop to prevent the gantry plate from sliding off the aluminum rail. Now, we're gonna attach the feet to the camera slider. First, start with the roll-in T-slot nuts and add them to the grooves inside the aluminum rail. Following this, secure the feet to the aluminum rail using the M3 screws. To finish off the camera slider, we're gonna add the stopper knobs on the top of the camera slider. The step is the same as the previous one. Insert the T-slot nut, insert the M3 screws through the thumb knob, and then secure it to the aluminum ring. And this is the finished camera slider. And here are some of the footages I got using the slider and my Canon 600D. Using a camera slider is obviously a skill and I'm not good at it yet. But I'm practicing with my weekly videos and I hope to improve. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of the camera slider and I inspired to make a version of your own. Remember, all the 3D printed files and the list of items you need are on my Thingiverse page. Click on the link below to check it out. It's free.